Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Myself SKJ, you are watching Surveying in Civil Engineering. So today I am going to explain about uh, how the load bearing structure we have just uh, converted into frame structure here. So this is almost uh, one floor uh, construction we have already completed over the load bearing structure. And here you can see, so I am just uh, walk through this load bearing structure. So the we have just placed this uh, columns. First, uh, as usual, I have explained in the previous videos that uh, how we have just uh, taken uh, all this footing and uh, plinth beam, everything I have just been explained in the last video. So, if you have not seen, please uh, go through that. And uh, now you can see this uh, 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 we have just uh, newly constructed this slab over the wall slab, and we haven't uh, disturbed any thing uh, in the old slab here so we have just uh, uh, taken direct uh, column over uh, uh, above the column we have just constructed this uh, slab new slab so one thing what uh, we found uh, the difficulty was uh, removing of centering work inside uh, this uh, slab it was very difficult because uh, there was only uh, two end of feet to get into and work with the two end of feet so removing up uh, all the plates and the wooden plates all such things it was very difficult part that time and uh, <coughs> and it was happened very successfully so uh, we didn't got any difficulty to remove so around uh, 10 days uh, it took to remove entire this slab centering for this and uh, here you can see so this is uh, the left side is a new uh, building so this load bearing structure this frame structure what we have just connected through the old uh, new building through this slab so you can just check it how we have just uh, taken this column and uh, one thing uh, we have just connected this column uh, to a old slab also we have just chipped that slab and whatever the reinforcement which you going to find in that old slab we have just gone through that uh, uh, column rods through that and we have just been connected to that so uh, you can do this kind of uh, um, uh, uh, structure also nothing to worry about but uh, why we have taken the new slab because uh, this uh, new building which is coming more height compared to this uh, uh, old building so that is why we have just for the continuation of that we have just taken the additional uh, slab new slab so later uh, that whatever the gaps what we are just having in the slab to slab between so that we are going to fill up later so you can just check it this and uh, in coming days uh, this new slab also uh, new slab which is we are going to connect with uh, this the building so that is why that uh, additional uh, steel which is projected outside so you can just ch check it this and this is uh, the house building and uh, the other part of the building is for commercial so house come commercial so this is uh, the hall so this is totally duplex building so this is the uh, staircase how we are just provided inside the hall open well staircase and uh, we are just providing this uh, slab centering work here so we are just uh, making up the centering work for the slab you 
and uh, this is how we are just uh, going to make uh, the frame structure on uh, load bearing structure so this all entire columns which is coming from the bottom of the ground and few of the uh, subscribers uh, are telling that uh, uh, we can construct a column over this slab yes you can do that but for that you need to do a specific uh, design for that particular slab portion where we're going to place our column over there so if you're placing that column there so you can uh, uh, um, have length up to uh, two floors so up to two floors it can resist the weight uh, weight on uh, that particular column so this is how we are just uh, making up so this beam uh, beam centering is uh, done completely and in the coming videos uh, i will keep on updating whatever the additional things are going to come and uh, if you are willing to you know, see how this centering work has removed uh, bottom of uh, this slab for this building i will uh, put up the video if you want to see that how these people are removed that centering work and all because it's a very challenging task <coughs> because there uh, there, and there will be no air inside and there is a, there will be no light inside that much so anyhow these people are done very successfully and uh, uh, that's it guys uh, today's video so if you are having any queries regarding uh, the load bearing structure or for a frame structure if you are going to convert for that so if you are having any queries regarding uh, let me know in the comment box below i will make uh, specific uh, videos for this and uh, uh, there are many techniques are there to making a uh, load bearing into frame structure so those techniques also i will explain in the next video if you want to have and also i have so many uh, videos which we already converted load bearing into frame structure so i will keep on updating all those things so thank you guys please subscribe to my channel see you in the next video bye